I saw a group of workers that who enjoyed going to work. Every year, uh, costs came down, quality got better, uh, safety got better. I think it shaped a whole generation of practitioners. There were tremendous satisfactions to going to work. I loved that place. It was the best job I ever had. I'm Joel Fadham, a former associate of Lou Davis here at UCLA's Anderson Graduate School of Management. Lou Davis was an engineer who became a behavioral scientist, but he remained an engineer in a profound way. He contributed to the design of some of the most innovative and high-performing work organizations in the Western world. And he wrote groundbreaking theory on the design of work, which still applies today. This is the story of Lou Davis's ideas in action, an illustration of how vital it is to always consider the human and technical parts of work together as a socio-technical system when we design organizations now and for our future in the information age. Lou and his colleagues pioneered work design efforts throughout the United States and Canada, Mexico, and also a little bit in Europe with a vast array of companies, Mead Paper, Shell, Ford, General Motors, Alcoa, and in particular, a CPC Best Foods Skippy Peanut Butter plant in Little Rock, Arkansas, which 25 years later is still going strong and now as part of Unilever has become the sole supplier of Skippy Peanut Butter worldwide. The organization and the plant were designed at the, at the same time. I don't think one was an afterthought to the other. I think that we worked, to the, the, the engineering team worked very much in hand with, uh, with the design team that was designing the organization. And um, uh, we bounced things back and forth. There were also some, uh, some really good principles that looking at as far as eliminating kind of meaningless work, uh, donkey jobs. You know, how many of those could we engineer out of, uh, out of the process uh, as we were selecting uh, the equipment. We also looked at uh, laying out equipment in such a way that the jobs could be uh, grouped together nicely in, in teams. Uh, probably the biggest design element and the biggest social change was the lack of a, a supervisor, of a traditional supervisor. Uh, making those decisions uh, in the short term. Um, it was the, the people who worked there very much had control of those urgent decisions that had to be made. If something was, was going out of spec or something was broken or something needed to be repaired, they were the ones that made that decision very quickly and correctly. Perhaps the most positive and vivid example in Lou's career of impact on technical design occurred on Refinery Row in Sarnia, Canada at a new Shell chemical facility. Thousands of miles in an ocean away from Shell's engineering group in Reading, England, and Shell's international head office in The Hague in Holland. People in The Hague were envisaging two control rooms, one for the polypropylene plant and one for the isopropyl alcohol plant. And we had moved partway down in our thinking process on the sociotech design. We were thinking of a single chemical plant operator concept. And to us it meant we weren't going to have separate departments. We weren't going to have a department for isopropyl alcohol. We weren't going to have a separate department for uh, polypropylene. We were thinking of a single chemical plant concept. And so we were thinking of a single control room. The plants, you know, it, when the plants upset, affect each other. <laughs> And uh, they can affect each other quite dramatically, particularly when it comes to the use of utilities like water or steam. If you have them all in one room, it means that the operators can, you know, look over their shoulder and see what's going on at the other place and ameliorate the situation. The biggest differences on social system design was, was certainly the multi-skilling. We had this notion of, of an operator owner, so somebody operated the equipment, owned it, maintained it, did the quality testing around it. Potential to explode uh, my role from being a grunt in a factory to being a worthwhile person with uh, skills and access to knowledge were limitless. The greatest legacy is the confidence that we can design and sustain truly fine workplaces in manufacturing 
and increasingly today in services like healthcare, high technology, and finance. Audit organizations are expanding the concept of service and manufacturing, using information and communications technology to powerfully link the entire value chain from product design, marketing, and supply systems to flexible production or customized service, all tied to the on-time delivery of sales. People's work lives are being scripted in this process and to achieve collaboration, not just information flow in this network world, we once again have a choice between essentially a technological solution or a socio-technical design. And challenging as that may be to do in practice, the opportunity exists now as never before. Lou and his contemporaries led us on a path of work design with process technologies. Now it's for others to develop that path in the information age. This is our frontier.